Hi guys, I'm Theo Goni and this is Mission 11, Dexter Industries. Now first up we're going to head over to the window just here and we're going to climb through that. And we're going to head up just up against here because we need to wait for that guy there, you see him, to move because he's staying in our direction. And as soon as he turns his back we can get going because uh, we need to disable all the security systems. So if you look there, that's actually meant to be a video feed of the front. Anyway, he's turned around, so we're going to head over, knock that out. That can turn off all the security cameras. And now we're going to head over here, and still in crouch, we're going to just walk over and take cover just behind these logs. Now, you see that guy over there at that generator? Once he turns around and starts walking, we're going to start moving. He's going to see us for like a second, but we'll be good. Now, this is the perfect timing, because if we go down this side, no one's going to see us, because there's loads of guards over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take cover just here. Because if we don't, that guy will see us. And if we take cover on this side, the guy over there will see us. But as soon as he goes in there, and that guy over there turns around, we're going to head over okay, are we all and take cover just, just here. The reserves are getting into position, but we're clamped down good already. And now these two guys over here are going to have like a conversation. Yeah, that's why we can't. And we just need to wait for them to do that before we can enter. Camp control room up and running. Good? Okay. Now they're yeah, chatting about security cameras, and there's actually another yeah. one over there. If you have a look, and uh, we're going to disable this. We're actually also going to get the evidence, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, once they've finished speaking, we're going to climb through here, steal, turn off this, jump through the window, and what we're going to do as soon as that guy's in position, okay, now we're going to get going. Now you see that guy behind us, he's kind of seeing us, but he's just about not going to. Now I'm going to quickly go down here, and we're going to follow this guy down. Now, why we're following him is because we want to go and get the evidence, which is in the machine, just there, in that that he's staring at. Now, uh, you, right now you could sneak up behind him and subdue him, and grab his clothes and stick him in the container there. Or you could even like grab this screwdriver, stab him in the neck. Now right here we're actually pretty safe because the guy over there, he's not going to turn around till this guy is finished. And as soon as he moves, we're going to grab the evidence and follow him because he is going to cover us. So, he's going to stare at the monitors for a little bit and here he goes. Looks around the corner. Okay, we're good. So we're going to head over, grab the evidence. And now we're going to head up here. We're at extra 1,800 points. Now, behind us, you look on the mini-map, the guy who was outside is now walking to where we were, so don't stay there too long. But once we pass these guys, boom! We're going to pick this lock and be through to the next section. So there we go. So like I say, uh, that can be difficult, but if you follow that, it's pretty easy. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to crouch down. And this is um, another piece of evidence we're going to do. Down there, there's two guys chatting about the TV. What we're going to do is we're going to sabotage the power supply. Now, these guys are actually playing Street Fighter. If you go up to them and stand behind them, you can hear and uh, look at the screen they're playing Street Fighter, which is pretty cool. But anyway, these guys are going to argue for a bit, and one of them is going to go behind the TV, and the other is going to come up here and have a look at the power box. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go down here and hide behind the wall. Now, it's important, if we want to get the evidence, to take out the guy who's going to fix that before he actually fixes it. So, I'll show you what I mean. He's going to come around the corner. He's going to head around. And before he can actually uh, fix it, you've got quite a lot of time. We're going to take him out. And the reason is, if, we, if he fixes that, the guy in front of the TV, he will sit back there. And uh, the evidence is actually on top of the TV. Now, we're going to need this disguise, not for this bit, for later on. And it's really hard to get past that bit later on if you don't have a good disguise. Anyway, we're going to stick the guy in here and gain our points back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to head down here. Now you see the guy is standing behind the TV. If we'd fi if the guy had fixed the, um, the stuff, uh, we wouldn't be able to do that. Now, once we're past that, we're going to head over here and jump through the window and take cover just here because the next guard is coming down the stairs now. Now it can be hard to get past him, but you can do some pretty clever changing covers. So what you're going to do is, once he comes down, he's going to have a little bit of a look around. 
and we're just going to switch covers like that. Alpha 4 checking in. Now wait until he moves, and he's going to walk around the corner, and stay over there. So we're good, and that's the next part done basically, we just walk all the way up these stairs, through the office bit here, and we're going to go up these stairs, and there's going to be a ledge with some pigeons on it. There we go, and we're along. Cool. Now here we go, up there is just a machine gun if you want it, nothing special. We're going to go out here through the next section. Anyway guys, what we're going to do is we're going to head down these stairs. Um, I guess you could run, but for, there's, a guard, there's guards and they just hit you. Now the stairs and stuff, they are going to break, but we're going to be good. And we're just going to slide down the ladders and head through. Now at this point, you have a few options. You could just pull that guy out the window and uh, let his body drop. But there's no point going through any of these windows. Because if you go through here, you have to go and take out a guard to go and get the key card. And we don't want to go and do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down here. If you want, you can swap this for a bottle. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, we're going to go around here and drop down like that. Now we're going to crouch down and head up this consensus. Now these two guys are going to be chatting about, chatting about where to go. There's one guy up there, so we can't crouch yet. But in a minute, those guys are going to split up. One's going to head. Oh, sorry about that. One's going to head over there. And one's going to look at the map. And once that happens, we can sneak past. And this is where you're going to need the suit. And it's a lot harder to get a suit now. I mean, I mean, it's uh, the now than the last mission. So you might as well pick one up there. Now they're going to talk about the map. I think there's some evidence over there, but it's really hard to get to you because there's that guy watching and that guy stands in front of it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay, once they say that, they're going to split up. He's going to stay over here. Now wait until that guy goes to his uh, position. Over there, and now we can move. And we're just going to head down, down, down. And there we are. And there's a save point here if you want one. Why not, you know? Now this is a really clever bit. We're going to head down here and go up against the wall. Now these two guys, that guy there and the guy who's just coming, they're going to be late. So listen we're to what they have to See? Shit! We can't still make it, can we? Sure as hell better try. Now they're going to do that, and what you're going to do is pretty cool. Basically, normally you'd need a key card to get through here. But what we're going to do is that's right, we're just going to follow them through the gate. No key card needed, because once that closes, you can't get through there. So just tail these guys. I mean, you might as well stand up. Obviously, you don't get in front of them or anything, because we're about to use some instincts. So if you're playing on harder difficulties, save it up. Because we're about to get sick, we're going to walk about past six guys or whatever. And you're going to see. Now they're arguing about some cake for this guy. So here we go guys. Start using up that instinct. And we're going to quickly, and we need to be quick. Because these guys are about to disperse and search the areas. So we're going to crouch down. Now this is where you're going to need a throwable object. You're going to take this and chuck it just over there. It's going to distract these two guys. We're going to go here and jump over. Now, cool, we're past these guys. And now we can uh, move. And it can get kind of disorientating, but we need to head over here through the mines and turn on the power box just here. Once that's done, we can get walking. And we can, we can run this bit. And we're just going to hit the power there. And now the lift is going to come up. And there we go, guys. That is the next part done. Okay, there we go down our lift. 47, look like a total badass as usual. And we're going to go down into a cavern. That's pretty ironic here. As we go down. 
Now, by the way, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice over here, all that water falling. Okay, guys, once we're going, we're going to run up all these stairs and head up to here before the guy. And yes, you can run, just uh, don't get too close to the guy, obviously. And we're just going to stalk him. And if you're feeling evil, you could grab the sniper. Bang! But of course, we're not going to kill him because we want to get silent to assassinate. And we want to be awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crouch down here and head onto the bridge. If you want to, you can head down the side there. But um, we're just going to walk across it. Walking down the side means you definitely won't be seen, but it will take longer. And now we're just going to head past all these guys. They won't see us. Now, this next bit, guys, is pretty cool. You can do this. What we're going to do is um, to get inside the main complex, what we're going to need is we're going to need a disguise. You can either sneak in through the roof and head down like that, or you can go and get the buyer's disguise. And the buyer's disguise is normally really hard to get, but I found a really good way how you can get it. So first of all, we're going to crawl through this rent, head out through it. All these guys are going to be talking and uh, head along into this abandoned area. Now there's a ton of guards around guarding him. He's uh, over there, that guy in the grey suit. And we're just going to head into this building here. And we're going to head round to the back, because we're going to need to do a couple of stuff first. So, first up, we're going to go round here, and we're going to go and grab this wrench. If you already have something, then you're good, but um, I guess you could have grabbed like the gasoline can before it. But that doesn't really matter. Now we're going to need some instinct, because what we're going to do is we're gonna just a little bit you could probably make it without like that we're pretty good we're just gonna crouch down and head through here and the reason we're doing this is uh, what's this we've got a knife there you could grab I guess you didn't need to grab the wrench you could always grab that but the wrench is good and we're just gonna sabotage it and now head back through here now what's that gonna do is that's gonna cause the guard what are you doing for Crouch against here. Don't hold instinct. I was just trying to see where he was. What the guy's going to do is he's going to head over there. I'm going to sneak up behind him and subdue this guy. And once he's out of the way, because normally, guys, where, if you do the next part without subduing him, you'll see what's going to happen. Because that guy there, he hasn't seen much. What we're going to do is we're going to chuck the wrench down there and subdue the guy. Now, normally, you'll get seen by the guard that's happened. So you're just going to select that and just aim about there-ish. So we're going to get up against the wall. And you see, only he's been alerted. So you're going to get up, and we're going to attack him when he comes around the corner. Or when he comes around, wherever you throw it, no guards are around, really. So we can subdue him. And now once you've got him out of the way, we're going to grab his disguise. That's cool. And we're going to grab his body because we need to gain some points back. I'm going to drag him over and hide his body in here. So that's one guy. Now this container, of course, all containers contain two people. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back and grab that guard. And the great thing is no other guards will see us, even though there's like a million of them watching. So we're going to head around the corner, drag his body, and head behind the car here. And that way there will be no bodies to find and we'll have our full points back. Because, of course, this is super stealthy. And this is a really good way to get his disguise because normally you have to sort of, um, get guards to stretch with different stuff. If you take out that guy, then you're good. So just pull up the power box. You can grab uh, the knife. And then just, um, I guess you could throw that wrench anywhere. But I think this is a good place because it gets the guy near the box. And that's all good. But now we've got this, guys. We can just run along because we are the buyer. And we've got an awesome car. Look at that. And now we can head in, and everyone's going to be really respectful to us. Shut up, fool. Anyway, now we're going to get in. These guys are going to say... What are you doing this for? Stop running! They're going to say stop running because they hate it. And we're going to head in. How do you do, sir? Right now, the woman's in there is going to say head in. Now, there's actually a piece of evidence on that table in there. But it's really hard to get to because there's a ton of guys. Now, by the way, guys, these are all live mines. You can go up to any one of these, arm them, and when someone walks near, it's going to blow them apart. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to head straight over here because we're basically allowed everywhere now. Well, most places. Especially in the foyer area here. 
anyway. Okay, so uh, I wish now this guy like is gonna chat about his We're eggs about and chocolate. stuff. Okay. And I was only, it's, guys, only in here if you're wearing the dealer disguise. Um, not the dealer, the buyer disguise. Okay. If you're wearing any other, then you, he won't Does be here. So don't worry. I'm out first. No. Okay. I think I can remember that. Okay. Leaves are cool. Yeah, I've got that. And then into the freezer. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna be psyched. Yeah, I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay. Oh, I'll see you. All right. Bye bye. When that guy's finished with his uh, frothy milk, we can end here. Boom. And there we are, guys. That is Mission 11 Complete Dexter Industries. And we got specialists. We got a ton of points at the beginning for getting that. We got loads of points. There's evidence all over the place. Uh, we, got, we got a fair amount, you know, all of that. So. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you really want to check out my Facebook uh, channel, that will have like all the latest info and stuff. And I will see you next time where we are going to enter the factory.